ready for the dictation start mr s k sinha learned senior counsel appearing on behalf of the ssc submitted that the purchasing dealers were registered dealers under the local act they were also registered dealers under the said 1956 act according to learned counsel the dealers had purchased the goods locally from the ssc in delhi on the strength of their registration certificates by issuing prescribed declaration under the local act and therefore the said purchases were local purchases in the hands of said dealers according to learned counsel after purchasing the goods in delhi and getting delivery at the factory of the plant the purchasing dealers had stored the goods in their godowns in delhi according to learned counsel the purchasing dealers were selling the goods purchased from the plant either by making local sales in delhi or by making interstate sales to their own buyers outside delhi or by making branch transfer to their own branches outside delhi learned counsel next contended that a local sale cannot be deemed to take place in the course of interstate trade or commerce simply because the buyer has been assigned a territory according to learned counsel section 3a of the 1956 act of creates a deeming fiction it provides that a sale or purchases shall be deemed to take place in the course of interstate trade or commerce if the sale or purchases occasion movement of goods from one state to another thus according to learned counsel in order to be covered by section 3a the state in question itself must occasion movement of goods from one state to another according to learned counsel section 3a is not attracted merely because the purchasing dealer has been assigned a territory outside the local area according to learned counsel assignment of territory is different from a sale occasioning movement of goods mere assignment of territory by itself according to learned counsel does not mean that the sale by the ssc to the dealer occasion the movement of goods to the assigned territories according to learned counsel the goods in question were sold locally in delhi by the appellant and the appellant was not concerned with subsequent sale the purchasing dealer had no obligation to occasion the movement of goods to the assigned territories pursuant to or as an incident of the plant's sale to them the plant has sold the goods locally to the purchasing dealers who were free to sell the goods to their own buyers in the assigned territories in either of the three ways mentioned above there was no bar or restriction on the purchasing dealers on selling the goods in any of the three modes mentioned above learned counsel further submitted that under clause 3 of the said agreement it was made clear that in the event of the purchasing dealers desiring the ssc to transport the goods to their assigned territories outside delhi they would pay the freight charges and also be liable to for central sales tax stops